all get going together. Hi, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Here we are, ready to work out. Uh, yesterday, we did whole body, um, we did cardio, we did strength, we did all the things. Today, we're doing a purely strength workout. We will actually not be having our cardio boost in between the exercises. Um, we'll, we have hey. five I know, no Sorry. jumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you finally get the workout that you want. No bouncing around, no awkward side kicks. <laughs> Just five moves for the upper body, five moves for the lower body. Um, we are going to go through them three times. The interval is one minute of work, 20 seconds of rest. So I'm going to show us our exercises for the upper body so we have some familiarity with what we're doing. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get rolling. So to start, for upper body, we're gonna keep it simple. We have wrist curls for the forearms. So we're gonna do a minute of those. Then we're gonna come down and do some body weight stuff. We have crab toe touch, up and up, working the tricep. If toe touch isn't working for you, you can always touch your knees, okay? After that, we have bicep rotation to curl. So I rotate out, in, curl, down. Out, in, up, down. One minute of that. Then we have one minute forearm plank punch. I'm in my forearm plank, extending alternating arms forward. And then lastly, we come all the way up onto our hands for a staggered push up. So I take my left hand back, push up, come back through center, right hand to the side, push up, back through center. So I'm going side to side with those push-ups. So those are our five exercises. Because we're not doing any cardio, we have a 90-second warm-up just to get the body nice and open and loose and limber before we dive into the work. So first 30 seconds, everyone take your left arm across your body. Keep it nice and still and stable. To open up the shoulders, find your right thumb. Start to reach straight up towards the ceiling. I'm going to come down to my knees. Rotate, pinky finger leaning back, big circle open up the shoulder. We've got 30 seconds of these. Good. Try and take them nice and slow. Don't let your body shift or wiggle. And really see if you can open up the shoulder joint as you reach straight up, rotate all the way back and behind you. And you can imagine that you're doing these against a wall. So if you're standing against a wall, you wouldn't want to let your body move. Nice. Good, I've got Zoom going, I've got Instagram going, we're all here together. Nice crew today. Good, let's do one more, five, four, three, two, and one. Other arm, right arm across the body, lifting with the left thumb all the way up, rotate, leading with the pinky finger, reach all the way back and around. We've got 30 seconds. Slower is better, try not to bend your elbow at any point. And after this, we have one more move for our upper body warm up, and we'll get going. Nice. Good. And if you have a wall at home, you can always practice these getting really close to the wall to help open up the shoulders. Good. One more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Last part of our warm up is a shoulder pull down. I reach my arms straight up. This is only for warm up, not for strength, because my arms are above my head. I bend the elbows, pull them back and down behind me, and reach straight back up. Good. Bend the elbows, pull them back and down, open up across the chest, reach straight back up. Nice. 30 seconds of this. Noticing that your back does not move, your core keeps everything stable. And I'd like your elbows to come behind your ears as you reach back. Think squeezing them together and keeping your elbows back behind your ears the whole time in an ideal world. You know, creating an opening across the chest and a contraction in the back of the shoulder blades, nice posture muscles. Last 10 seconds, let's see if we can do two more. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms down by the sides. Make sure your cycle is pumping. We've got wrist curls. I'm gonna do upward, so I'm curling in and in. So you can imagine that you're holding a set of weights as you do these. We've got one minute, we're going in four. Three, two, let's go. Upward wrist curls, pump it up, up, 
and you will have three opportunities to do these today. So it'll probably start off kind of easy, and as that minute progresses, hopefully they get harder. If you still feel like it's too easy, change your cycle. Good. My elbows are not bending. I'm pulling my shoulders away from my ears. For those who might be new joining us on Zoom or on Instagram, we always work smaller muscles before bigger muscles with our bands. So we actually start with the smaller mover, smaller movements and work up to the bigger bold ones. Keep going, wrist curls. If you wanna play, you can practice standing on one foot, give you something to do. Awesome, last 20 seconds. Forearms should be starting to pump. Good, give me 10, let's pick up the pace. Yes, good. Last six, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, quick tap refill check. Uh, sometimes when we do strength-based exercises, I know I tend to set my bands to a slightly harder uh, level. So hold your hand up, press the base of your palm, make sure it turns from white back to regular color in about three seconds. If so, we're good to go. If not, it takes longer. You probably wanna loosen your band. All right, next exercise. We're coming down to do crab toe touch. So coming down, wrist underneath shoulders, hand to alternating foot, or hand to alternating knee. The goal here is to keep the arms straight. We're working the triceps. We're gonna get going in four, three, two, and one. Let's go, crab toe touch. And I want you to work your triceps, your arm muscles so much that you try not to let your body rock and roll. Good, keep your butt off the floor. Up, that's it. Nice. Good. Keep it going. If you feel comfortable here, you can pick up the pace. But remember, we have a whole minute of work. I'm kind of traveling backwards. <laughs> That's it. All right, we are half done. Keep going. Let's check in, see how everyone's doing. Got 30 more seconds. Keep lifting your butt off the ground, little engagement of the glutes. And this one's hard, but we want to see how well can we control our own body weight. We don't necessarily need weight to work our triceps. Lifting our own butts off the floor is pretty good. Last 15 seconds. Don't stop now. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Seven, six. Give me two more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop up either to stand or on your knees. Bicep rotation to curl. So we go out. In, up, and down. One minute in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Out, in, up, and down. And I'm keeping a 90 degree angle in my elbows the whole time I'm doing this. And my elbows are glued towards the sides of my body. Nice. Awesome. Pace is up to you. Let me see a little squeeze of the fist so we're activating every muscle in our upper body. Cool. That's it. Give me a big pump at the top. Yes. Half done. You can also slow it down and work through it even more if you want. Play with it. See what's more challenging for you today. Whoa. Feeling it. All right, give me 10 more seconds. If you want to pick up the pace, now's the chance. Eight. We have six and four. Three, two, and one. All right, let's make our way down onto our forearm. For forearm plank punch. We've got 10 seconds to make our way down, and then we'll start rolling. So once you're down on the floor, start to walk back into forearm plank. We're going to start the exercise in three. Two and one. Extend alternating arms forward. Reach and reach. Now, I suggest starting this off a little slower than you might think you want to do because we do have a whole minute and we want to be able to sustain the whole time. If at any point you need a rest, try not to drop your knees. Instead, just hold in forearm plank and then get as many reaches in there as you can. Awesome. Half done. And after this, we'll come up for our staggered push-ups, and we'll do it again. Keep going. Good. Nice, Lily. Mm -hmm. 
Keep it up, you guys look great. Last 15 seconds, don't stop now. Even if you're holding in forearm plank, stay strong. All right, last 10. Then we're gonna come on up to stand for wrist curls in six, five, four, three, two. Drop your knees, don't come up to stand. My bad, trick you guys and myself. We're doing the staggered push-ups. So probably the hardest one we're doing. I got really excited about doing this set again. So make your way up onto your hands. Start to walk the feet back into plank. And in 10 seconds, we're gonna come in staggered push-ups. All right, four, three, two, let's go. Take the left hand to the side. Push up, back through center. Right hand to the side, push up, back through center. Totally okay to do these on your knees. Or you can just take fewer movements and try and stay off your knees in plank position the whole time. Cool. <laughs> I got so excited about the circuit. I was like, we're doing it, doing it again. No, we have another exercise. So technically we've just done now, including this exercise, five minutes of work. So we can definitely, definitely handle that. Great. Good. We are half done. Good job, John. Nice. All right. Give me 15 more seconds. I know we can do this. If you need to pause and plank, pause and plank. Also consider the range of motion of your push-up. Even if it's a baby bend in your elbow, some work is better than nothing. Last seven. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody hop on up. Grab some water if you want some. And we're gonna start our second set in 10 seconds. So pulling the elbows in, restarting your cycle if you need to. We've got wrist curls in four, three, two, and one minute, up and up curl. Nice. Time is flying today, doing great. You've got a one minute intervals of work and 20 seconds rest in between, which is just about enough time to make our way into the proper setup for the following exercise. Good. If you want to pick up the pace, go for it. And unless your forearms are hurting or burning so much that you can barely do this, I suggest challenging yourself a little bit more. These are very, very safe exercises as long as you monitor your body, especially a wrist curl. If you have it in you to go fast, now's the time. All right, last 15 seconds. Pump those wrists up and up. Feel those bands. Yes, last 10. Woo, all in. Five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds in between. Drop down onto the floor. Situate your hands underneath your shoulders. We're coming up again in 10 for the crab toe touch. So everyone butts off the floor. We're going in four. Three, two, and one. Touch those toes. Keep those arms straight and strong. Good. Alternative option is to touch your knees if the balance is a little bit hard on the toes. Nice. Pushing the floor away from you the whole time. That's it. We want to really activate our arms so that we don't droop and sag into our shoulders. So get those arms going strong. Awesome. Half done. Yeah, I like it. Good. Now is the opportunity to pick up the pace if we want to. Last 15 seconds. All right, all in. We have 10. Give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give the wrists a roll, release them. You can either come to your knees or come up to stand for the bicep rotation to curl. Pull the elbows in, 90 degree angles in the elbows. Good, we're gonna go in five seconds. We go out, in, up, and down. Let's go for it. Out, in, up, 
down, out, in, up, down. And I want you to really squeeze your biceps, contract the whole time, which might limit your range of motion, but it'll make your muscles work even harder. And that's our goal today. And the trick here is if we move really slow and contract more heavily, we can actually build bulkier muscles as opposed to if we move a little bit faster, we get some leaner muscle. So you get to choose your own adventure. And out, and back. There we go. I like it, half done. Yes, really pull your fist in towards your shoulders at the top. Boom, use those muscles. That's it. All right. 15 more seconds. All right, give me the best ones you've done all day. We've got 10. Ooh, there we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds to make our way down for our forearm plank punch. So start to come down onto your mat, into your forearm. All right, we're going in 10. So start to walk your feet back into plank. We're starting the exercise in three, two, and one. Alternating arm extension, reach and reach. Or if you want to make a fist, punch and punch. That's our move. Nice. Great job, Instagram. Great job, Zoom. Go, Jeff, go. <laughs> nice, Jim. I like it. Everyone's moving. And I like this pace. It's a little bit slower, but it's sustainable. And that makes me happy. Forearm plank punch. Mm -hmm. Last 30 seconds. Good, engage the core of the glutes to keep the hips from wiggling. So this is really targeting our shoulders, our triceps. Yes, fully extending those arms forward, you can do it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Let me see, six more reaches. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and drop the knees. Give the shoulders a quick rest. You can shrug them out, roll them out, shake them out. All right, and it's your guys' lucky day. In the name of time, we're gonna skip our third round of our upper body work and go straight into our lower body. So with that being said, I want you to do these staggered push-ups like they are your strongest set of push-ups that you have done all week. And they probably will be because you probably haven't done too many staggered push-ups this week. So we're in luck. All right, make your way back into plank position. Staggered push-ups in three, two, and one. Hand to the left and center. Right and center. Keep going side to side. Cool. John's in his house, nice and cool today, protected from the Florida heat. <laughs> Great. Sophie and Sydney look good, girls. Awesome job. See where you can start to engage your core and your glutes to help out. Take some of the weight off your arms, keeping that back nice and flat. Half done. A minute's a long time. We're doing great. Give me 20 more seconds. If you need to pause and plank, that's fine, but don't give up. Don't stop now. This is the last thing we're doing for the upper body. Let's make it meaningful. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 2 more, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Everyone come on up to stand. <laughs> give the shoulders a big shrug. Grab some water. And let's take a couple stretches before we swap out our bands. Clasp the hands behind the back, bicep stretch, creating space across the chest. Good, release the hands, tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Triceps and deltoids. 
Release it, left hand across the body. And release it and go ahead. Let's swap out our bands, arms for legs and keep on going. And we have our question of the day, of course. The question of the day is, what is one talent or skill you wish to acquire? Mm -hmm. As we do this, go ahead and swap out arm bands for leg bands. Oh boy, Steve, that was fast. Steve wishes to learn and speak French. That's a good one. That one's pretty, that one's pretty doable, I think. Although I know Steve doesn't have a ton of free time <laughs> running a company and all. What else have we got? Ability or skill you wished to acquire. Instagram, feel free to toss any answers in the chat if you want. No one? Okay, George. Better at slacklining. I love that. I bought a slackline two months ago and have been teaching myself. And it's not cute. <laughs> but it's really fun. And whenever I go to the park, all the little kids want to get on it. What else? Mine is, uh, I would like, oh, Jim says kiteboarding. That's pretty cool. I'd say mine is, we'll pick a non-athletic pursuit for this one because I do a lot of those. Uh, I want to learn how to play a song on the guitar. I don't know how to do that. And I've had a guitar for about a decade. So it's, it's time. It's time. All right. If you've got any more answers, go ahead and throw them in the chat. Otherwise, we're going to do our lower body warm up and we will keep working. All right. So, lower body warm up. I want us to open up the hips and open up the hamstrings. So, first, we're going to open up our hips. We're going to actually make our way back down on the hands and knees, uh, doing what we call hip cars. Cars, short for controlled articular rotations. So, basically, circles with our joints. So left knee off the floor, pull your heel into the butt. First 30 seconds without moving the upper body, you're gonna make as big a circle as you can with that left leg continuing to pull the heel in the whole time. So let's go ahead and get moving with that one. 30 seconds with the left leg. Your right elbow is really going to wanna to bend. Don't let it, keep making a bigger and bigger circle. So this is similar to what we did with the shoulders in the beginning of our practice, we're just working into our hips. Good. And last five seconds, and we're going to jump right to the other leg in three, two, and one. Pick that right knee off the floor, pull your heel into your butt. 30 seconds, move it around. Notice that my upper body does not move at all. I am isolating the hip joint, making a bigger and bigger circle each time. And I learned a lot of this stuff with the circles from a school of exercise thought called functional range conditioning. And it's how we can increase our range of motion to support the things we do in our daily lives. So last six, five, four, give me one more, three, two, and one. Great, hips up and back, pedal out the legs. It feels so weird to do an exercise on our cardio boost. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but we're doing it. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Our last 30 seconds of warm up are going to be good mornings. Hands across the shoulders, taking a little bend in the knees, keeping my spine straight the whole time. Hinge forward and come up to stand. And that's it. And you can take it slow, but each time you hinge forward, I want you to think about your spine being an extension. So we're almost in the back bend not slouching or rounding out. Dropping your belly button lower and lower. And if you have flexibility in your hamstrings, you can keep your legs straight as you do these. Uh, if you've not heard me say this 20 times already, I encourage doing these every morning when you wake up. They're called good mornings to help open up the body, the hamstrings, and the back. Uh, last five, give me one more, four, three, two, and one. All right. So. In the name of working smaller muscles before bigger muscles, we're doing 
sumo heel lift. So walk those feet wide, angle the toes out. First minute, I bend into the knees. Now here's your choice of which action you wanna take. You can either do one heel at a time, or you can do both heels up and down, full minute. Now, my hips, my upper body does not move. So I'm keeping the bend in my knees and I'm targeting my calf. So let's jump on into it, ready, set, here we go. Either alternating heels or both heels. I encourage trying both heels, it's great for balance. And if you burn out, you can always alternate after that. Very safe movement. Cool. You can do whatever you want with your hands. <laughs> We've got five exercises. Ideally, we'll go through it three times. Maybe we'll go through it two. We'll see how we're doing. Awesome. We are more than half done. We've got 20 more seconds. Get both heels off the floor. Why not? Give it a shot. Yes, maybe drop your butt even lower to make it more challenging. Yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give the hips to rock side to side. All right, next exercise. Prisoner, knees to squat. So I come down onto my knees. I take my hands behind my head. Staying as low as I can, I wanna come up into a squat, back down. Up into a squat, Oop, losing my mat, and back down. So try and stay low the whole time you're doing this. If you have knee issues, I totally get it. Give me one minute of air squats, okay? We're gonna start in four, three, two, and one. Step up into squat, drop them down. You can also alternate foot, stepping up and down. Keep working. Great. Yes, stay super low. Try not to let your head bob up and down. It's so hard. <laughs> Amazing, nice George. Great gym. And if you notice that you're starting to round out your spine, having your hands behind your head, either one, don't do it, or two, take your hands down to your hips, that's fine too. The goal here is to work the lower body and get the legs pumping. We are half done. Stay low, stay slow. That's fine. If you feel comfortable going faster, you can. Elbows wide. Last 15 seconds. Yes. <laughs> Good. We have 10. See if you can do one more set. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and Rest. All right, next exercise, we're dropping back down onto our hands. It is one minute of cross body mountain climbers. So instead of just pulling my knee in towards my nose, I'm pulling knee to opposite elbow. Over, 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 and over. We have a full minute of those. Fine to drop your knees if you have to. Try not to, take it nice and slow. Use your core to help pull knee in towards opposite elbow. Everyone into plank, we're rolling in three, Two and one, knee to opposite elbow, cross body, mountain climbers. Work on using your quads, using your core to get that knee all the way up to the other elbow. And if you're feeling like you can go fast today, then by all means, don't let me stop you. After this, we're gonna take a water break and then we'll continue on to our last two lower body exercises on the circuit. And because we're not doing cardio today, if you want this to be your cardio, pick up the pace. 25 seconds left. Go, go. <laughs> 15. All right, now's the time. If you're not already moving fast, go for it. 11, 10, 9, strong arm, strong core. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Hop on up to stand, grab water. Next up, we have hamstring curls, isolating the backs of our legs. So if you want to take a harder cycle for this one, this is a very safe exercise. Feel free to do that. So 
hands on my hips, whatever you want to do with your hands. I'm working my right leg only. I pull my heel into my butt, hover it off the floor, pull it up, hover it off the floor. You can always tap it down. Now, what I don't want to see happen is your right knee comes in front of your left knee. I want to keep your knees in line with each other. You can even squeeze them together. Curl up, hover, up, hover. We have 30 seconds per side, okay? So starting with the right leg, step your feet together, pick that right foot off the floor, or step it back. We're going in three, two, and one. Heel the butt, hover, up, hover. My upper body does not move. I'm isolating my hamstring. So it's essentially a bicep curl, but instead of hand to shoulder, I'm doing heel to butt. Yeah. And making sure your knees are in line. The right one isn't shooting forward. We only got 15 more seconds. 30 seconds is a fast interval. So now is the opportunity to pick up the pace, really pump it. 10, and last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right into the left leg. Step the foot back, 30 seconds in three, two, and one. And you can also shorten your range of motion to really contract, a little pump up, up, up. Your choice, how you wanna do it. Always getting some balance in there too. Cause that's how we do it. And I think this is one of the easiest exercises that we're gonna to do today. So see if you can really shorten that range of motion, keeping your heels close to the butt the whole time. Nice. Last 10 seconds, a little bit faster. Let's go all in. Then we have our last exercise of this circuit in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last exercise. We're going plank to frog. So I set my feet really wide. I walk my hands back. I pull my butt back to my heels, shift forward. Pull it back, shift forward. My knees are off the floor the whole time. So my feet are normally hip distance. I want you to step really wide so you can drop your butt down and shift. We are not piking up. Back and forward. My spine stays straight the whole time. All right, everyone in plank. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Work through it and forward. Frog, plank. Frog, plank. We are burning out the quads like crazy. Good. If your thighs are not feeling this already, I don't know what to tell you. This one kills me. Yes. Half done. Even if it's slow, keep going. You can also add breath to the movement. So you can inhale to pull back into frog. Exhale, press forward into plank. Helps keep us moving because we got to breathe and move with it. Mm -hmm. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Give me three more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up to stand. Butt kicks to release the quads. We're going into our second round of our circuit. Maybe three was a little bit ambitious. <laughs> All right, sumo heel lift. Step the feet wide, angle the toes out, bend into the knees, either single heel or both heel in three, two, and one. Here we go, heels up, down, up, down. You can go fast too. Woo, I don't think that's sustainable, but you can do it. <laughs> George has got his arms up. I love it. Great for balance. You can always take your hands behind your head or reach your arms up to challenge your balance even more with this exercise. Look at Jim go. Killer. All right. Sumo heel lift. Up. Up. Now, why not? Make it even more challenging. We're half done. Sink your butt even lower. Using our own body weight to get deeper into the work. 20 more seconds. 
Good. Keep angling the outer edges of the knees out. We don't want the knees to flop inward. Woo. Nice little leg. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Right to our next exercise. Hands behind the head. Get down on the knees. In 10 seconds, we're going prisoner knees to squat. We call them prisoners because our hands are behind our head. Five, four, three, and two. We go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. That's the stuff. Option B, if you have knee issues, air squats. Stay low. Stay really low. Keep your butt down. Yeah. And you can always double or triple up your mat if you have one to help pad your knees. You should be gentle on the knees anyway. Great. Awesome. Half done. Oh, I just saw someone else's answer. To learn how to throw an ax, be polylingual in American Sign Language, Spanish, Dutch, and Hebrew. Whoa, those are lofty goals. I love them. I love them. Last 20 seconds. Stay low. Keep moving. If hands behind the head is making you round out your spine, either press your elbows back or take your hands down. We do not want to compromise posture. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down to the floor. Hands and knees. In 15 seconds, we have our cross body mountain climber. So I'm bringing knee to opposite elbow. Pump it, pump it. Good. We have five, four, three, and two. Come up into plank, knee to elbow, side to side. Good. Pull it underneath the body. Use your core. Maybe even find contact. So great. So today is a slower paced day, slower paced in the sense that we're not doing as many things, but I think we're still working just as hard. There's more of a mental challenge, pushing through when you want to stop. Half done. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yes. 15 more seconds. If you want to pick up the pace and go full on sprint, I want to see you do it now. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, all in. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hop on up to stand. Hamstring curls. If you want to hold on to a chair, a wall, or something and make a smaller range of motion for your curl, I encourage you to try it. This time, we're going to start with the left leg. Pull your knee into a 90 degree angle, right? So my heel's off the ground. If it's too much in the balance, you can always drop it down. I want you to try and keep your knee in a 90 degree angle or smaller the whole 30 seconds we're doing this. We're going in four, three, two. Let's go up, 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 up. This is half the amount of time that we've been doing for the rest of our exercises. So challenge yourself. Those hamstrings are big muscles. They can take it. Yeah, get those heels in. Think about little pulses. Kick, 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 kind of like a heartbeat. <laughs> Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Into the other leg, 90 degree angle, little pulses, 30 seconds. Go up, 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 contract. Yep. Yes, so great. Instagram, keep going. Zoom, keep going. Hamstring curl. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Heels up. 3, 2, and 1. Release it. Last exercise of our circuit. Grab a quick sip of water before we come on down. In my opinion, and that's just me, this is the hardest exercise of this set. Plank to frog. So we got one minute. Go ahead and make our way down on hands and knees. Set yourself up into a wide plank. Feet are wider than hip distance. We're going in four, three, 
two, and one. One minute. Butt to heels, shift forward. Butt back, shift forward. Keep your spine flat the whole time. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. We are half done here. Remember, you can always use your breath as a tool when you're exercising. So either slowing down your breathing or in something like this, inhale as you pull back, exhale as you push forward into plank. So we're timing it with the natural rhythm of our body. Last 15 seconds. If you want to add speed, now is your chance. We have 10. Let me see four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest the knees. All right. Come on up to stand. Give the hips the release. Circle them around. Other way. Good. Give the hamstrings a quick stretch. Hands to opposite shoulders. Five good mornings. We've done a lot of hamstring contraction. I want us to release them. All right. Final set of the day. So it's five minutes of work. We know the exercises well. We're going to jam right through them. We step the feet wide. Sumo heel lift in three, two, one. Heels up. One minute. Good. The lower you drop your butt into it, the harder it's going to be. So challenge yourself. Play with that. Now, I'm noticing on a couple people, our knees are starting to flop inward. Keep pressing the outer edges of your knees back so we're not compromising our joints. Good. See if you can sink even lower. Yes. Maybe lift the heels even higher. I don't know. That's great. Half done. Mm -hmm. If you want to take your arms up for an extra challenge, now's your chance. Last 15 seconds. Here we go. Pick up the pace. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hands behind the head. Press your knees to squat in 5, 4, 3, and 2. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Stay low. If your knees are getting tired, air squats are fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Half done. Option to switch knees if you want. Stay low. Good, 20 more seconds. We can do it. Yes, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on down, hands and knees. Cross body mountain climbers. We're going in five, four, Three and two. Step back into plank. Knee to opposite elbow, side to side. One minute. Let me see you move. Whew. Should be feeling tired by now. I hope so. Upper body's working just as much as lower body. And I got some folks on Instagram asking a question. Feel free to shoot us a message. 
and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Folks on Zoom, keep going. Folks on Instagram, keep going. We do these workouts every day, every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific, and they're always a lot of fun with the band. Last 20 seconds. Breathe, go, move, making sure the wrists are under the shoulders so that they are supported. We don't want to compromise our arms. We have 10. See if you can pick up the pace. Last set of the day. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up to stand. All right. So we've worked the front of the thighs. Let's work the back of the legs. 30 seconds, hamstring curls. Get your right foot off the floor. Here we go, pulse it up, up, kick and kick. My time is going. And this is our little break in our work to move a little bit faster and have a shorter interval. So feel that band work. Woo, hamstrings should be burning out. We don't need weight. We just need to kick our heel to our butt. <laughs> Good, now notice if you're slouching, get even taller, lift your chest, lift the top of your head. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and switch left leg kick it up 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 i'm engaging my core the whole time so the movement does not get into my back yes keep pulling your left knee back we don't want to just shoot it forward contract contract amazing going as fast as we can nine eight seven six five four three more two and one Last exercise, coming down to the floor. Step into plank position. We're going plank to frog in four, three, two, and one. Back, forward, back, forward. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. After this, we have... 90 seconds of core work, 45 seconds of each exercise, and then we are done. We will stretch it out. So knowing that after we did this last exercise, we get to come down on our backs. I want to see you work your arms. I want to see you work your legs. I want to see you work your core to stay in plank. Mm -hmm. Last 20 seconds. We can do it. Go oh, Sophia and Sydney. Yes, girls, I know it's hard. It can be slow. Give me 10, four more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody on your butt. Come on down, pedal out the legs. All right, two exercises for the core, 45 seconds each. The first one, my arms are up. My legs are up, my head is up. I lower, lower, reach. Lower, lower, reach. We're going together in three, two, and one. Jump into it. Try and keep your head off the floor. On that reach, get your fingers to your toes. Great. And this interval should feel a little bit faster relative to the stuff we've been doing. Yes. Extending your heels away from the body the whole time and making sure that your entire spine is pressed into the floor. So we work our core instead of compromising our low back. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and knees into the chest. Take a gaze at your screen. We got our final exercise. I take my legs into tabletop. I reach my arms back. See if you can tap your thumbs to the floor. Take them down. Back and down. If you're just needing more of a challenge today, do it with straight legs, okay? We're going in three, two, and one. Arms back and down. Arms back and down so we're getting into our shoulder joint while we're working our core which if you know me i'm a huge fan of shoulder mobility because a lot of people don't have enough of it so if you notice that you can't get your arms to the floor as you reach back that's exactly why we're doing this you want to work towards that as we strengthen our core mm -hmm. if your legs are in tabletop make sure that your knees are stacked over your hips 
90 degree angle in the knees. We've got 15 more seconds. We are breathing, we're reaching, we're pressing our back down. Give me 10. Yes, six, five, four, three, two, and knees into the chest. Good job. Release the left leg onto the floor. Grab the back of the right leg five times. Kick that leg up towards straight. Release your heel towards your butt. Actively work that leg towards straight. Heel the butt. Three more. Keep pulling the knee into the chest. Two. And one. Switch sides. Grab the back of the left leg five times as you pull the knee into the chest. Kick that heel up. Release it. Kick it up and release. The leg should be shaking. Three, two, and one. Last stretches, roll over onto your left side or your right side. Sorry, roll over onto your right side. Reach back, grab your left foot or your ankle, and pull the knee back behind you to stretch out the quad. As you do this, I'm pressing my hips forward, pulling my knee back to create a lot of length in the front of the leg. Good, release it. Start to make your way onto your other side. Grab your right ankle, pull the leg back as you press your hips forward. And release it. Prop yourself up to sit. Extend both legs forward. Take one last hamstring stretch. And then roll up to sit. Reach your arms up. Round of applause. Great job, everyone. Strength day, and we smashed it. We'll be here tomorrow. We will not be doing those minute intervals, but we will be doing some great work. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good to see you guys.